Oh, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Yes, it's another exciting, inspiring, full of the spirit episode of King's Table with me, of course, your minister, Martin P.K. And today it's nothing short of greatness and glory. Now the Bible says in the book of Revelations 1 verse 6 that we've been called unto being kings and priests unto the Father for his glory. And then in 1 Peter 2, 9, the Bible says we are a royal priesthood, a chosen generation. This is the King's Table. And before we start the program, let us pray. Father, we thank you. Oh, Satalika Brade Boloko Soblo Kotolika Brade Bronde Blaka Bula Kabasek Legendos. We give you praise. The Bible says the Lord has set eternity in our hearts. Father, we thank you for the hearts you have given us, the heart of flesh, not a heart of stone, to go out there and shine our lights throughout the nations of the world. Even this program today, oh God, you touch the doctors, you touch the business people, you touch the teachers, you touch from the smallest to the great. Father, we give you praise today. We bless this program and we thank you, precious Holy Spirit. You guide us all the way in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, right now, we're going to take a special music ministration by the Modern PK Foundation Singers, and it's led by Matthew. Enjoy. Well, today we are discussing you are the light of the world and we have an exciting, you know, personality joining us today and he's going to share his testimony, how he shined as light 
in his situation. And the man is in studio right here with us on King's Table. Minister William Fortain, how are you? Thank you, Minister Martin P.K. It's such an honor to be on set with you, man. man. To be seated at the highest table ever. Hallelujah. And God has graced me to be here. I'm very well. Yeah. Super excited for what God is doing in this season, in this time. Correct. Thanks for having me. Amen. You're so welcome. You, you're so welcome. William, you've got an exciting testimony. You know, your journey is, 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 is really um, crowned with so many milestones. How you have shined as a light, you know, in many situations and circumstances. You know, I want to hear your testimony today. You know, what, you, what are you going to share with our viewers on King's Table? How have you shined as light in your situation? Mr. Martin P.K., for most of the people that might have thought I'm from Johannesburg, yeah. I was born in a small town called Paketberg. Yes. Um, we were not very privileged growing up. Um, my parents were seasonal workers. Um, God has graced me then to do well in school and eventually went to, on to be at university. Um, I think I'm the first grandchild to would have entered university and actually complete the, the program. Wow. So I was graced with that. At this point in time, we based in Johannesburg. And because of financially, we were not very strong. God has graced us to now pull and just pour out into the family mm. financially, not just our family, but I believe that I'm also a philanthropist um, and reaching the lives of others. Um, I believe I'm a good and a great giver. We've been giving to so many organizations and just making sure that what we lacked of, other kids and people don't lack at this point in time. Sure, yeah. That's powerful. So you gave us a bit of a background now. I mean, the only one really to to win and complete varsity, you know, so you became that light. You know, the Bible says Jesus Christ, that corner, that rejected cornerstone. But here we hear William saying is that in the midst of those situations, in the midst of, I can say, a dark situation yeah. where there's almost like no light, how are you going to make it? You're from a small town, you understand, there's really no hope. But here you are, you break forth. I remember you sharing a story with me that how you used to commute by train yeah. for such long hours you know, just to get to varsity. And also some of the challenges you faced, you know, when you're in class, you couldn't really see properly and all these kind of um, attacks and insults, I will call it bullying today. But in the midst of those situations, your light shine. Just take us through a bit of that. How did you go through that? How did you pull through that? How did the Lord help you to go through those situations? One of the first things that comes to mind that really yeah. pushed me, um, the, first, the first fact that I came from an African school yes. and being enrolled at, at Cape Peninsula University of Technology, I found it hard just speaking English and being eloquent in that. But the Lord gave me the idea of, you need to buy an NIV Bible. <laughs> and reading the Bible improved my English in such a way that today people would think that I'm probably from the stage, you know. Hallelujah, but thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so that was one of the, the great things. Yes. Commuting, long hours of train delays, I remember this one time I was writing exam, it was what they call in Cape Town, the Cups of Vint. Mm. It was just storming and I remember water was just running down towards the, the castle and I was writing exam that day soaking wet from top to bottom. But the Lord graced us. I was suffering while writing exam, but here I am, which simply showed that I pulled through, not because of my own strength, but the Lord, that light that He instilled in me, shined not just for other people, but it was also motivating me to just pull on through and, and get done with the program. Hallelujah, yeah. hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. You know, for somebody who's watching us at home right now, you know, you might be going through what William went through then. You see, here's the beautiful thing about the Word of God. The Bible records in the book of Matthew 5:14. Jesus says that ye are the light of the world, you are. So when you are born again, you are the light of the world. Now the absence of light is darkness. So if you are not in Christ, if you are not in the Lord, then it means you are in darkness. You might have natural light, but the light we are talking about is a light that can pull you through from a small town and elevate you into a university and get you to graduate from university the light and give you wisdom because light can also be translated as to knowledge yeah. you right what god gave him wisdom and insight to him to get an niv bible to learn the bible and by studying the word of god he predict what you perfected your language right now he's speaking english english is coming out of his ears and his nose now look at this jesus you know he says to us we are the light in the book of John chapter 8 verse 12, he said he was the light. Amen. Hallelujah. And Amen. he said to them, to the Pharisees, they were busy attacking the master. And he said, follow me. 
follow me. So if you are the light, people are following you. You are following, you are leading them to Christ. Hallelujah. You are leading them to what? Salvation. To their blessing. Because when you are in Christ, that's where the blessing is. So when you are light, and light does two things, William. Yes. It brings truth and it exposes darkness. Now the Greek word for light is called phos, which I find very interesting because why the word we use as photography is actually the root word of it is phos in the Greek. What does it mean? Photography, a photograph. You are the picture of Christ. Come on. So whoever sees you, sees Jesus. Hallelujah. Are you hearing this now? So whenever you show up in a place, you bring light because darkness cannot withstand light. Yeah. Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, the Bible says, God made light. So what he said, he separated light out of darkness. Come on. Hallelujah. And then he says, you are the light of the world. And then he says, go ye into the world. You understand? And make disciples. Mm -hmm. So your responsibility is not to run away from light is to command light out of darkness. Yeah. Are you getting it? In yeah. any, you might be in school and you are watching this right now and like William, they were, you know, they were so-called bullying him and putting all these slurry attacks on him. But you see, the light of God shining through you right now. That's why this program has come to you in King's Table. So you go ahead and shine. You go ahead and manifest the virtues and the excellencies of God. Yes, you can, because he said, you are the light. It is a great compliment that Jesus gives us this, and it's a great responsibility. Because when he was light, he was healing the sick. Yeah. He was raising the dead. He was opening up blind eyes. He was feeding multitudes. Hallelujah. And then I love it when in the book of John chapter 1, he says, he says in him was light. Yeah. And that light was the life of man. Oh, boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And this is powerful. You are the light of man. So don't run away. You know, people sometimes say, I step into the room and people are, uh, they, they don't want to talk to me. No, it's because you're exposing darkness. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you're exposed, because light has come. Darkness cannot negotiate. It has to go. Yeah. Are you hearing this? So if you're in your workplace right now, or wherever you're watching this program from, from your household, in your marriage, you need light, just be the light. No, you don't fight. Jesus didn't fight anybody. He spoke boldly. You understand? He spoke the kingdom. He spoke the word of God with what? With confidence. And then I told you, this is king's table. You see, the Bible says in Revelations 1, 6, you are a king and a priest unto God. You are reigning and you are ruling. All right, so this is king's table. Thank you so much for connecting with us. But before that, we just want to show you a quick insert of what we are doing in the communities as the Martin Piki Foundation. As you heard from William, in fact, William is also one of our biggest partners. All right, we are the great, we benefit a lot from his giving from him and his lovely wife, Annalise, and his beautiful sons. All right, so just take a look at this and we'll be right back. Understand. That's what the Bible says. So the reason why I'm here is because it's in the Word of God. Number one, it says Hebrews 13 verse 1. It says, let brotherly love continue. Love your brothers. It doesn't say black brother, colored brother, Indian brother. I don't have the keys for this door, but I've got the keys for this door. You understand? Father, thank you. Thank you. This is my thing. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your love. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you for thinking of me. Today, I receive this love. I receive this love. And this love, this love is a person. Is a person. His name is Jesus. Avulegila masango, intonga spile. Quiet, we're ready for the next item. Wake up, we the name of Jesus. PK, Peter Tobe. Oh, shit. Who can stand against my God? Ain't nobody, nobody, no. With pray, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have come to say thank you yeah, For everything you've done, Lord You filled my life 
I'm sure you enjoy that you are inspired. Now listen, everybody can be great because everybody can serve. So you go ahead and be a blessing to your next door neighbor. <laughs> There's a movie I used to watch. <laughs> you love it. This is, you know, they knock on the door and say, can I please have a bit of brown sugar? Yeah. Can I have some brown sugar, Lord? You can be a blessing and share with your neighbor. The Bible says love your neighbor. You understand? So you can start there. You might not be doing what we're doing on a bigger scale, but we started small too. Five loaves of bread and two polonies. That's how we started. Today we have the cooler mentorship program. Today we have um, the prison program. Today we have the school outreach programs. I mean, it is just getting from glory to glory because we are the light and we are yeah. shining our light. Minister Fortin, just your last words before we round up today's episode. Mr. Martin, I think for some of us out there, especially our, our young kids, I yeah. mean, we've just started rolling out the schooling program. Yes. And we know if, if, if things are not set right in terms of the foundation of a kid, wow. then we, we, we sit with other problems growing up. Sure. So I think for all other philanthropists out there, maybe you not make me a philanthropist on, on a profile on some social network, yes. but I think it can start in your own community. That's start it. giving. I yes. think the Bible says it's much better mm. and it's, you are more blessed, it's wise to give mm. than to receive. Amen. So some of us, we are sitting in our little corners, oh, give me this, give me that. Yeah. I think the very thing that we so desperately need sometimes yes. is what we need to give away because others' needs are most of the times greater and bigger than our own. So my last words would be to encourage people to give, to yes. give to charity, to give to foundations, yes. to give to old age homes, to yes. give. The Bible says, blessed are those that take care of the orphans and the widows. That's and it. that is the love and the heart of God. Amen. And that is how we enrich others' lives and become and stay that light that God so definitely does want to be. Yeah. Thank you. Praise God. What a blessing. Now, if you want to partner with us here at the Modern Picket Foundation, the details are below on the screen. And um, maybe you're a businessman, maybe you are, wh whatever designation you are doing, wherever you are, you can be a partner. There's nothing too small, there's nothing too big to do for the Lord, amen? amen. And we have committed ourselves to the work of the Lord. So thank you so much for tuning in to King's Table right here with Minister Martin P.K. Until next time, keep living as light and let your light so shine so men can glorify your Father in heaven. God bless you. <laughs>